I'm Mr. Mega Man fan, and today on Genesis Does, it's Mega Drive Does, because this came out only in Japan and South Korea. This is Eliminate Down, which was developed by Apronet, published by Soft Vision International and Samsung in Korea. The designer was A. Tomonaga. The programmer was Junji Takahashi. The artists were J. Inoue and M. Harada. The composer was Tetsuya Matsumoto. It is a side-scrolling shoot-'em-up that, according to some sources, can be compared to Toa Plan's Hellfire. I don't know if I agree with that assessment. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but I think Toa Plan shooters tend to be in a category all their own, and I'm not quite prepared to put Eliminate Down in that category, but it is an interesting game, especially for a Mega Drive exclusive to Japan, you never know what you're going to get with Japanese exclusive games. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're terrible, but almost always they end up being expensive. So why don't we go ahead and take a look at what this game goes for if you were so inclined. We can do that while I play the mini game, which is very unusual. You don't usually get a mini game in a Sega Genesis or Mega Drive game. Now it's not a particularly sophisticated mini game. You just have to move your icon over the icon that's rotating and press the button to shoot it with a bomb. And the more of them you get, the more points you get. So there isn't a whole lot to it, but just the fact that they packed a bonus game in with the game definitely speaks to the developers wanting to give you value for the money. And the money is not cheap in this case, $61 loose, which isn't too bad, I guess. Not cheap, but certainly not compared to the complete in-box price of $1,347.56. Good gravy. If you wanted it new, as if that was even possible, $28,000. Let me just tell you right now, play this one in emulation. Don't buy it for that price. I mean, even if it was the best shoot 'em up of all time, don't buy it for that price. And it's not. The one thing other than a built-in mini game this one really has going for it is that you get your choice of three different weapons right off the bat. You don't have to wait for power-ups. You can either use your forward firing blaster a rear laser attack, or diagonal four-way firing bombs. You can just cycle through them and pick the one you want at any given time. There is a plot to eliminate down. Not that plots are necessarily that important in most side-scrolling or vertical shoot 'em ups but for the record, here it is anyway. Mankind has begun space pioneering in the 30th century. However, an alien race known as the Amuleto appears out of a space distortion traveling toward Earth. The Amuleto's intentions prove to be hostile as human investigators are destroyed and their space fleet grows. Mankind's best and only chance is the Steel Pyron, a space fighter designed for multiple combat situations and warp drive jumps. So you pilot the Steel Pyron in Eliminate Down. And why is it called Eliminate Down? Because you eliminate the enemies until they've all gone down? I don't know. It seems to me to be one of those cases of a Japanese developer decided a couple of English words sounded cool, and then they just slapped it on the packaging as a way of promoting the game. But as for that game, well, here it is. You're in outer space, and you're shooting bad guys. Does it look like everything else you've ever seen in this genre? Does it look like Gradius? Does it look like Hellfire? Does it look like... Gates of Thunder? Yes, it does. This is a formula that is tried and true for all manner of games on PC Engine slash Turbo Graphics or Mega Drive slash Genesis. Those are the two consoles that seem to do side scrolling shoot 'em ups the best. And not coincidentally, those are also the same two consoles that have the most expensive games to collect because of the small print runs and high demand for some of those shoot 'em up games. Eliminate Down being no exception to that rule. I do like this outer space 
insect that is attacking me and changes its pattern as it does so. It kind of weaves in and out. Sometimes it darts, sometimes it just fires a spread shot, but it's definitely presenting me with a nice little mid-boss challenge, more than I was expecting. So I will give them credit for the visual design and for the attack pattern, if you will. But I wouldn't say this is utterly different from anything you can experience for less than $28,000. I mean, good lord. Just recently, the Toll Plan games got reissued through Limited Run, including Zero Wing, which never got a release in the United States. You know, all your base, your base, our belong to us. That famous game, you have no chance to survive, make your time. So you could get Zero Wing, the reissue, complete inbox, cartridge manual, the works, plus shipping would cost you less than a loose copy of Eliminate Down. That's insane if you're thinking about it for very long. You could get one of the hardest to get shooters in a fully authorized by the intellectual property holders reissue, which to me makes it just as valid as having the original. It's just got a newer copyright date on it because it's been reissued. It's like that whole argument between the first and second print run of Devil's Third. If they made more than one, but the same person made it, isn't one just as valid as the other? I'd say yes. And I would also say if somebody decided to reissue Eliminate Down, if 8-Bit, I Am 8-Bit decided to do it and uh, put together a nice package, or Limited Run, or Strictly Limited Games, anybody, you know, I don't care who. If somebody made a copy of Eliminate Down and got the intellectual property rights and authorized a licensed version and the money was going to the copyright holders, great. I'd pay, I don't know, 50 bucks for a reissue complete in box if it was nice quality. I certainly wouldn't pay $28,000 for this. But again, there are some things about it I like. The missiles shooting up at you as you're making your way through the atmosphere to the next wave. That is challenging. It's a nice effect. It's not, again, something I've never seen done before in any other shoot 'em up but it definitely ramps up the intensity as you're playing and gets you ready for these missile shooting creatures that are coming at you, these uh, warriors of their alien race, the Amuleto, as I say. That's probably not the pronunciation, but... I say Amuleto because I just like to say it. Amuleto. Amuleto. Game over. So now I bid you adieu and say Eliminate Down has been fun. I will play it some more through emulation, but I shall not be paying 61, 2800, or 28,000 for it. No bueno. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.